grounded, which was great to hear. Players, there are plenty of them on display tonight, and one of the busier ones could be a man that a lot of people regard as the best keeper in the league at the moment, Michael Schlingerman. We're expecting him to possibly the big, busiest, certainly the busiest of the two keepers tonight. Um, he has been in very good form for Drogheda this season and he's needed to be. I mean, if you look at the sequence of results, he's generally the busiest player for Drogheda as well and I'd expect him tonight to be getting uh, under pressure from many, many angles. But we're seeing action of him here where he's shown just what he can do. If Drogheda are to get a, a result here tonight, yeah. many, many things have to happen for them to bridge the gap between their ability and Dundalk's one of the things you would expect is for him to have an absolute blinder because barring a different performance altogether together from Dundalk, he's going to need them. Yeah, Michael Stingerman has got them out of trouble on many, many occasions so far this season. Another player who's contributed to some of Drogheda's better performances has been Sean Thornton, uh, a real player of quality. Yeah, I remember speaking to Johnny McDonald about him. Um, he really liked him. Always spoke about him being the one player that had that real kind of you know quality edge about him. Takes all the set pieces. You can see that delivery there. This is where this is going to be key for them tonight, Peter. I mean, they're going to get you know situations like this where they're going to have to really try and capitalise. And this guy's got loads of experience. Played in the Premiership with Sunderland, and um, so he's only 32 years of age. He's homegrown Drogheda, so he's been playing very well this year. And um, also capable of getting a goal. Great header against Derry, so he gets himself into the box. But he's, I think, the fact that he's their their, their set piece guy. He's got to be on song tonight, I think. I think there are, there are some players, and we can all think of examples, who come back from England to this league and just just mentally just don't come with the right approach. Whether they think you know they've done enough in England not to warrant putting in a real shift there, he's not one of those players. And, and Drogheda will need him to put in a hell of a performance, like the goalkeeper, if they're going to win this game. That uh, Dundalk midfield that has received so many glowing plaudits throughout the season, Probably the unsung hero in that midfield is Chris Shields. He was brilliant against uh, Sligo last weekend. Uh, he really orchestrated things and allowed Ronan Finn and Tao.